All right, good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker Online class. Today, we'll be talking about a dimensional analysis. We have two types of quantities. The first one is the fundamental quantities and the second one is the derived quantities. Okay, now the, the fundamental quantities are the, do I call it the main quantities where the derived quantities are gotten from. Even from the word derived, it is derived like it is being derived from these ones. Okay. So you, you, the main one you need to know is this one. Then other ones are gotten from here. Okay. So the, the seven basic fundamental quantities you need to know is the mass measured in kilogram. Okay. And the uh, unit of kilogram is kg. The length measured in, uh, in meters and the, and the symbol is m. The SI unit is m. The other one is time. Then temperature measured in Kelvin. Electric current measured in ampere. Amount of substance measured in mole, then luminous intensity measured in candela. Now, the main three you need to know is the mass, length, and time. Mass, length, and time. That is what we'll use to uh, do our calculations on dimensional analysis. Now, in dimensional an analysis, you need to know um, you need to know the unit of a particular thing. Once you know the unit of that thing, it will not help you to do what to get the the uh, dimension the dimension of that particular thing okay for mass we use capital letter m as the dimension then length we use capital letter l as the dimension then time we use capital letter t as the dimension okay so let's get this some derived quantities some derived so some derived quantities let's get the the analysis, the dimensional analysis. The first one, let's look at speed. Now, if you remember that speed means what? Distance over time. Me, speed means what? Distance over what? Time. Okay? And distance is measured in meters. Don't forget, watch. Distance is measured in meters while time is measured in what? In seconds. Okay? And another thing that is measured in meters is length. So we have what? That the dimension of this is what? L over what? T because time is measured in T and the distance is same as meter. How many meter did the person go? Okay, so according to indices, this is raised power one. If it's coming up, it will not have minus. So I have L T raised power minus one. So this is um this is what the dimension of speed. Another way you can get it is that if you know the SI unit of speed, you know that speed speed is measured in what in meter per seconds. You now remember that meter, what will give you meter is what length. It's length that will give us meter. So I have what? L. Then per second, or write it like this. Meter per second. Okay? And second, what to give us second is time. You will now put T raised power minus 1. As simple as that. So number 2. Look at number 2. Number 2 say acceleration. Now, acceleration means... Acceleration, the, the formula is what? Speed. Speed over what? Over time. And we know that SI unit of speed is what? meter per second all over what another second so the second we have here they are now two okay so that is why the si unit is what meter per second square if you know the si unit to be meter per second square it will not be very easy for you what gave us meter is length what gave us second is what time then because of the minus two you put minus two so the dimension of uh, acceleration is what um tl t raised to power minus two so number three Number three is force. Now, force means what? Force is what? Mass times acceleration. Force is MA. Don't forget the formula. Force is what? MA. Mass times acceleration. And what is mass? You know, though, it's measured in Newton. But to get the normal SI unit, mass is measured in kilogram. Why acceleration is measured in what? Meter per second square. So this is another SI unit of force. So this one will not help us to get the dimension. The dimension kilogram. What to give us kilogram is mass, capital letter M. Meter is L. And second is what? Second square. Sorry, second square. Okay? So that is the dimension. Very simple. So number four. Number four. Number four is area. Area is what? Length times another length. Is it not? Which is what? L square. As simple as that. You don't forget that it's measured in meter square. 
Okay, so number five. Number five is volume. Volume is what? Length times another length times another length. So which is what? L3. As simple as that. Number six. Density. Now, density is what? Mass over what? Volume. And the SI unit is what? Mass is measured in what? Kilogram. Volume is measured in what? In meter. In meter cube. So because it is down, it will come out to become what? Uh, per meter cube. Kilogram per meter cube. Okay? So, and don't forget that the dimension will not be what? Kilogram is what? Capital letter M. Meter is what? L root power what? Minus 3. Okay? So the next one, number seven. Number seven is pressure. And pressure is what? The force that acts in a particular area. So force over area is pressure. And force is what? Don't forget that force is what? MA. All over what? Area. Okay? But the area is acceleration. So which is what? Mass kilogram. Acceleration, meter per second square. All over what? Another uh, meter, meter square. Okay? So one of this meter will cancel one of this meter. So I'm having that what? Pressure is what? Don't forget that here is same as what? New or you say what? Newton for the for top. Then Newton uh, per meter square. Okay? Newton per meter square. Uh -huh. So but this one will not help you to get it. This is one that will help you to get it. So kilogram, kilogram is what? Mass. Meter is what? L. Seconds is what? Time. All over what? Meter again. L squared. So one of these will cancel one of these. So my answer finally becomes capital letter M, L, because 1 is down. So it will come up to become minus 1. Then T raised power minus 2. So I'm having M, L minus 1, T minus 2. You see? It's very, very simple. So the next one, number 8. So number eight, number eight said discharge. Okay, discharge. Discharge is simply discharge is volume, volume over time, as simple as that. And you know what is your volume is m cube all over what seconds, which is what l raised to power three t raised to power minus one. Okay, as simple as that. So number nine, I'm going to give you all of them. Number nine is torque. Toy is the same thing as force, please. Toy is the same thing as, uh, as force. In fact, toy is force that acts uh, on a particular area. Okay? Force that acts on a particular area. And that area is always sometimes always in a circle, in a circular form. So we say that toy is what? Force times radius. Force times radius. And don't forget what is your force. Your force is what? Kilogram. M. M A, this is M A times what? Uh, uh, radius is measured in meters, so I'll say um, times the radius R. Okay, which is what? Uh, kilogram. This one is what? Meter per second square times what? Another meters. So I'm having kilogram meter squared second square. So which is what? Kilogram is capital letter M. Meters is L two. Then T minus two. Okay, so that is for for Thor. Okay. So the next one, number number ten. Number ten. Number ten said momentum. Now momentum is simply mass times velocity. Momentum is simply what? Mass times velocity. So mass is measured in kilogram, velocity is measured in what? In meter per second. So which is what? Or like this, meter per second. So I'm having kilogram meter per second. Per second. So what am I having? Kilogram is what? Mass. Meter is what? L. Second is what? Time. Okay? So number 11. Number 11 is impulse. Impulse. 
Impulse is force, the product of force and time. Force time times what? Time. Don't forget your force. Force is MA times your what? Your time T. Okay? So I'm having a. So what do I have? Uh, M is what? Mass, which is kilogram. Okay? A is acceleration, which is meter per second square times what? Another second. So this second will take care of one of this second here. So I'm having kilogram meter per second. Okay? So which is what? Uh, which is equal to. Kilogram is what? Meter. Uh, sorry, M. That is mass. Meter is L. Then time is per second. So you see that impulse has the same M. Okay, sorry. Times time, okay? Yes. So, what am I having? Did we get momentum? Okay, yeah. So you see that what? That impulse and momentum has the same uh, SI unit. Okay, they both have the same SI unit and the same dimension. So number 12. Where is number 12? Okay, tensile stress. Number 12 is tensile stress. Number 12. Number 12 is tensile stress. And tensile stress, in fact, stress is equal to force over area. Force over what? Area. Now, they will not ask you tensile strain because tensile strain is a, a, a extension of original length. Okay, and the extension is measured in meter. Original length is measured in meter. Meter will cancel meter. So there is no uh, SI unit or dimension for that. So, but for force, we know force normally. Our force is, uh, we're supposed to know force by now. Force is uh, MLT minus 2. So MLT minus 2. That is for force. Then area is L. Because it is down, I'm having minus 2 here. Okay, so minus 2 plus 1 is now 1. So I'm having ML minus 1, T minus 2. So that is for, for tensile stress. So now, Young modulus has the same dimension with uh, tensile stress, please. The next one is Young, young modulus. Young modulus is stress, tensile stress over tensile strain. But strain does not, tensile strain does not have any SI unit. So, and it does not have any dimension. So, it's taking the dimension of stress. So, I'm having it to be what? ML minus 1, T minus 2. So, it's not difficult to get. So, the next one. Number, number 14. Number 14 said uh, potential difference. So now, what's the formula for potential difference? Mass times what? Acceleration. Am I correct? Okay. Mass times acceleration. Potential difference. Okay. Potential difference is force times force times velocity. Yes, sorry. Potential difference is force. Force times velocity. Velocity. So, and force is what? MA times velocity. Okay? So, what do we have now? We're having that um, force. Force is kilogram. Um, acceleration is meter per second square times another word, meter per second. So, what do we have now? Kilogram is what? M. Okay, 